everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through how to install ENB for your Skyrim game. So in this video I'm going to assume two things. One, I'm going to assume you already have Skyrim downloaded. Two, I'm going to assume that you have a Nexus Mods account. I'm also going to assume that you have an ENB picked out already. I'm also going to assume you have Mod Organizer 2 installed. If you do not have Mod Organizer 2 installed, we have a video on this channel that we've already covered that, so I'll leave that link in the description. If you have not done all of these things, you're going to want to hit the pause button, make sure you have all of those things completed, and then come back, hit play, and then you can pick up right where we left off. But on that note, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the embdev.com website. So I will leave the uh, link in the description for the Skyrim binaries. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on the newest version of the ENB binaries. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, then you're gonna click the download button. Once it's downloaded, you're gonna go to show in folder. Now I have a Skyrim ENB folder on my, uh, on my desktop just to keep things nice and neat. Uh, you don't have to do that, but it just helps me, so it's not a bad idea. Drag this into the ENB series folder. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to right click. This is where you're gonna need an archive extractor. So 7-Zip or WinRAW, if you do not have either one of those things, I will leave a link to 7-Zip in the description. Extract here. Then it's going to open up all these files. You're going to go to wrapper version. And then you want the D3D11 DLL. Then you're also going to want the D3D compiler. And then you're going to want to open your Skyrim special edition directory. And you're going to want to drag and drop those two files into the directory. Okay, once that's done, you can minimize this. You can go back, you can close out of your Skyrim ENB folder. And now it's time to download the actual ENB that we want. So today we're gonna go with Intrigued ENB um, from Fireman AF. It is a great ENB, it's very easy to download. And it also, it looks great, it's, it's one of my favorites. So you're gonna scroll all the way down here to the direction. So we've done the ENB binary, it's important to follow the directions. Uh, when you are downloading an ENB because some are a little bit different and this one's pretty straightforward so all we have to do is extract his file so what we're going to do we're going to scroll all the way up we're going to go to files we're going to go to manual download make sure you have the correct uh, weather installed and this calls for obsidian weathers and I already have that installed once it's done downloading, you're going to show in folder. You're going to want to drag and drop this into your Skyrim ENB folder if you've chosen to make one. You're going to right click. And go back to your archive extractor and extract here. And you're going to want to open this up. You're going to want to go to main file. And this is where you can choose the quality. If you have a if you have a pretty strong machine, you can do full quality. If you want a little bit more performance, obviously the further down you go, the better uh, performance you're going to get. So that's really up to you. Uh, you're going to want to open your Skyrim directory once again. I'm going to go for full quality here. I'm going to highlight all of them, and then you're just going to drag and drop. And now you have installed the ENB. So one of the mods that most ENBs requires is it requires this ENB helper. So you can download this directly into your mod manager. If you have it linked to your Nexus account, you can just uh, mod manager download. I do not. So we're going to go through how to download it manually. So you're going to manual download. I have all these requirements. Then you're going to want to go to your mod organizer too. You're going to want to install new mod from archive the EMB helper, click OK, activate it. Once you've done that, you have everything you need to have an EMB. Everything is installed and it should look good. 
So one of the things you can do is you can run your game and you'll see the ENB series compiling shaders in the top left hand corner. That means you have installed everything correctly and your ENB should be good to go. So you now have successfully installed an EMB for your Skyrim game. If you have found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button for me. Leave me a comment. Always love to read your comments. If you need any help with your load order or getting your game set up, we have a Discord server. That link is in the description. We'd be happy to try and answer any questions that you have. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, tutorials, live streams, edited videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.